Chapter 63. How the passions of the mind change the proper body, by changing the accidents, and moving the spirit. The fantasy, or imaginative power hath a ruling power over the passions of the soul, when they follow the sensual apprehension. For this doth of its own power, according to the diversity of the passions, first of all change the proper body with a sensible transmutation, by changing the accidents in the body and by moving the spirit upward or downward, inward, or outward, and by producing divers qualities in the members. So in joy, the spirits are driven outward, in fear, drawn back, in bashfulness, are moved to the brain. So in joy, the heart is dilated outward, by little and little, in sadness, is constrained by little, and little inward. After the same manner in anger or fear, but suddenly. Again anger or desire of revenge produceth heat, redness, a bitter taste, taste, and a looseness. Fear induceth cold, trembling of the heart, speechlessness, and paleness. Sadness causeth sweat, and a bluish, bluish, whiteness. Pity, pity, which is a kind of sadness, doth often ill affect the body of him that takes pity, pity, that it seems to be the body of another man affected. Also it is manifest, that amongst some lovers there is such a strong tie, tie, of love, that what the one suffers, the other suffers. Anxiety induceth dryness, and blackness. And how great heat's love stirs up in the liver, and pulse, physicians, physicians, no, discerning by that kind of judgment the name of her that is beloved, in an heroic passion. So now Stratus knew that Antiochus was taken with the love of Stratonica. It is also manifest that such like passions, when they are most vehement, may cause death. And this is manifest to all men, that with too much joy, sadness, love, hatred, men many times die, die, and are sometimes freed from a disease. So we read, that Sophocles, and Dionysius the Sicilian tyrant, did both suddenly die, die, at the news of a tragical victory. So a certain woman seeing her son returning from the Canaanzian battle, died, died, suddenly. Now what sadness can do, is known to all. We know that dogs oftentimes die, die, with sadness for the death of their masters. Sometimes also by reason of these like passions, long diseases follow, and are sometimes cured. So also some men looking from an high place, by reason of great fear, tremble, are dim sighted, and weakened and sometimes lose their senses. So fears, and falling sickness, sometimes follow sobbing. Sometimes wonderful effects are produced, as in the son of Cressus, whom his mother brought forth dumb, yet a vehement fear, and ardent affection made him speak, which naturally he could never do. So with a sudden fall oftentimes life, sense, or motion on a sudden leave the members, and presently again are sometimes returned. And how much vehement anger, joined with great audacity, can do, Alexander the Great shows, who being circumvented with a battle in India, was seen to send forth from himself lightning, lightning, and fire. The father of Theodorus is said to have sent forth out of his body, sparks of fire, so that sparkling flames did leap out with a noise, noise. And such like things sometimes appear in beasts, as in Tiberius his horse which is said to send forth a flame out of his mouth, 